Hello my friends and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In yesterday's video we completed what I'm calling the Battle of Vostagar. I'm sure that's probably an official name, I just don't know it. But we completed all that yesterday. We were rescued by Morgan's mother. Today we're going to loot Morgan's house, I'm assuming, and then go out through this door here into the Kakari Wilds. I imagine Alistair is out there. Perhaps Morgan will join us. Maybe my dog's alive. And maybe Morgan's mother's out there as well. So let's find out. He is alive. She, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You, you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Well, I'm not, thanks to Morrigan's mother. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Davith was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? It, it did. You saved us. Um... So why did you save us? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Fair Someone enough. has to deal with these dark spawn. <laughs> it has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? Um, well, no, it didn't change. No, it didn't change. We're still Grey Wardens. Duncan told us to act like Grey Wardens, so no, it didn't change. But we were fighting the Darkspawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Yeah. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Hmm. What is an Archdemon exactly? I feel like this has been explained multiple times, but remind me again. <laughs> it is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Hmm. Well... I don't think it's important to focus on betrayal. We are Grey Wardens. The Darkspawn are going to kill everybody. And apparently the Archdemon leads the Darkspawn, so let's let's talk about that. So then we need to find this Archdemon. By ourselves? Yeah. No Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half dozen nations at his back. Okay. Not to mention... I don't know how. How to kill the Archdemon? Or how to raise an army? It seems to me those are two different questions, mm -hmm. hmm? Have the Wardens no allies these days? I, I... I don't know. Duncan said that the Grey Wardens of Orlais had been called, and Arl Eamon would never stand for this, surely. Hmm. Arl Eamon? The Arl of Redcliffe? I feel like... I feel like Edward would know that, so... Possibly? Maybe? I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still oh, has yeah. all his men. And he was Kaelin's uncle. That's right. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Okay, I'm just remembering that when we got to Ostagar originally, Duncan was telling Kaelin that your uncle said he could be here within a fortnight, maybe? And Kaelin laughed it off. So yes, I'm connecting the dots when I'm listening to things. That's what my oh yeah is all about. So, Shirley's other allies. Yeah, we can have the Arl of Redcliffe. And didn't we just rescue a bunch of treaties and stuff from the wilds? But wouldn't Duncan have them? 
Uh, so yeah, surely there are other allies we could call on. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. Yeah. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. Yeah. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Why not? <laughs> as long as there's some profit in it. Um, I doubt it's going to be as easy as that, but like, yeah, why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? So you are set then? Yep. Ready to be Grey Wardens? Yep. We're ready. <laughs> ready as we can be. Uh, I, yeah, I don't suppose you could give us any more help since you're all-powerful Flemeth, right? Now that you mention it, I do have one more thing to offer. Great. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Oh. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. Yep. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. Ha <laughs> I had... I thought this might be coming. So yeah, thank you. But if Morgan doesn't wish to join us, I don't want to make her go. Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Hmm. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. <laughs> she better be as useful. <laughs> okay, well, we will take her along with us. I'll take a mage. Mages are awesome. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. <laughs> Point taken. Yeah, mother. Alistair. This is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. All right. Well... I mean, she might come to harm with us, but let's promise a mother something. She won't come to harm with us. Allow me to get my things, if you please. Okay. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. No, I don't want you to be silent. No, I prefer you to speak your mind. <laughs> <laughs> you will regret saying that. <laughs> Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. Uh I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Seriously? Get over yourself, Alistair. Sorry, he's just kind of starting to bother me. So, yeah, get over yourself. If you worry that I will summon demons and transform into an abomination, I assure you I will at least wait until you are not looking. <laughs> I feel better already. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see if she has more questions. I may have answers. Ask. Oh, sweet. Are you really Flemeth's daughter? Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes? Yeah. Um, she's just gonna stay here all by herself. Mother was alone long before I came, and will be so long after I am dead. Such is her choice, though I suspect she would claim the choice was made for her. Hmm. Have you never been outside the wilds? From time to time, I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. 
On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Hmm. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. Okay, but is this what you want to do? What I want is to see mountains. I wish to witness the ocean and step into its waters. I want to experience a city rather than see it in my mind. So, yes, this is what I want. Actually, leaving is harder than I thought, however. Perhaps Mother is right. It must simply be done quickly. Hmm. Okay. I... I'd love to go do all those things with you, Morgan. <laughs> uh, tell me about the village to the north, please. It is a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your Imperial Highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch. Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. So is there any reason to go to Lothering? I mention it for its tavern, where travelers gather with news from other places. Tis small enough that our appearance might go unnoticed. Beyond that, tis close, and I know the way. Good reasons. How are we going to get past the dark spot? The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. Well, that's... Yeah, that's not reassuring. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent darkspawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. The darkspawn are camped farther in the forest. They come from underground, like an eruption. They broke through deep within the forest, and that is where they will be most concentrated. Her arms are really unnaturally skinny, I'm just saying. So, uh, what skills do you have exactly, Ms. Morrigan? I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook, <gasps> yes. Seriously? Never mind him, you don't have to cook. You missed your chance. Now it's Charred Rabbit from here on out. <sighs> I don't have any more questions. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Okay. Lots of stuff. Lots of new quests. Let's see y'all look when everything's done popping up all right alistair approves plus four we're neutral Let's see morgan oh morgan plus eight sweet uh neutral codex updates and quest updates okay the blight so looks like this is about the oh so it, i think it's each so we have to get our army together so this is the circle for the mages nature of the beasts looks like the Dalish, that's the elves. So yeah, Dalish elves. Paragon of our kind. Oh, these are the dwarves. And then Arl of Redcliffe. So I think I'll read those as I decide to do each one. But let's talk to people. So I talked to Morgan. All right. The time has come to leave the wilds. Do you not agree? I do agree. Uh, let's talk to Flemeth. Have you not left yet? I hope you are not hanging about for some stew. <laughs> Could you answer some questions? 
Questions, questions. One would think a Grey Warden would be more interested in action. I know. <sighs> but I have so many questions. Can I ask about your magic? What good would it do you? You are no mage. It is sufficient that I have passed on my knowledge to Morrigan, and I pass her on to you. Ouch. Like a worn dress or an old pair of shoes. Are you still here? Mm. You cannot give them away, apparently. How long have you lived in the wilds? Since before I was wrinkled and old. Oh, you may think it strange, but I was once young and beautiful, just as Morrigan is now. Yes, men desired Flemeth then, and some even killed for her. I love this voice actress. She's so great. Well, you don't seem very happy about that. <laughs> I am not, nor was I then. It dictated all that followed. But enough. You have your task to complete. What will you do once we're gone? Oh, have a moment's peace for once. <laughs> I hear the peace of the grave <laughs> is eternal. Oh. This is the thanks I get for feeding you and putting up with you for this long. Bah! May your child one day treat you the same. Feed me, she says. Without me, I swear, she shall be caked in dirt and eating tree bark inside of a month. I love this relationship. It is great. <laughs> Do you have any advice, Flemeth? About the dark spawn? Um... Sure. Only that they are more cunning than they appear. Hmm. More important by far is the Archdemon. It is the core of this taint, and while it lives, so does the Blight. This Ternlo gain is different. You must deal with the repercussions of his deeds before you can face the Archdemon, unless it finds you first. Mm -hmm. the, the, she does make a good point that we need to kind of get all united to fight the Darkspawn together, because it sounds like we're going to need a massive army. All right, no more questions. Then we are done. Now, if you will excuse me, I have some dinner to eat. But I... there was... Uh, there was one more thing. Have you not left yet? I hope you are not hanging about for some stew. Yeah, you could come with us, you know. Ha! Oh, I prefer to remain here. Considering what the world has done to me, I have already done more than it deserves. Mm hmm But what has the world done to you? That is between the world and me. Okay. Your business is elsewhere. But you're more powerful than we are. It is not a matter of power. No one person in all of Thedas has enough power to stand against a blight. Were that the case, sending you two would be quite the jest. <laughs> what is important is that you are both Grey Wardens. Your task is to unite the land, inspire its men, and turn them from their petty politics to face the Archdemon. In that, you are more powerful than I by far. I am but an old woman whom the world has largely forgotten. Sad. All right, well, I guess I'll go. Yes, you should. You have a whole lot of dark spawn to get past before you sleep. <laughs> Thanks, Lemeth. You're appropriately creepy sometimes. What do you need? Oh, do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Yeah, but I th I just thought you might need to talk. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. Hmm. There's no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. Well, he had you. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him, in the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. <laughs> you'd be stupid, you'd be dead. 
Well, he did save your life by sending you to the tower. Yes. I know. I think he came from High Ever. Or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... I mean... Only my entire family <laughs> who was murdered like two days ago. Oh, oh, of course. <laughs> How stupid of me to forget. Yeah. Here I am going on and on about Duncan and you... I am so sorry. It's fine. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Well, I mean, any time, Alistair. Okay, plus three, but we have more things what to talk about. I want to ask you ask something. Uh, what can a Templar do exactly? Essentially, they're trained to fight. The Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. Hmm. The other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like the Templars could run the Chantry if they are an army. You'd think that. But it's not so. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. Mm. And since the Chantry controls the lyrium trade with the dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. Yeah. <laughs> An excellent method of control. Wow. Uh, that's horrible. I can't believe they would do that. Well, they do it. And they feel perfectly justified. You don't need Lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective. Or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. Okay, I keep getting kicked what out. What do you need? All right, I want to ask you something. Ask away. Tell me about the Grey Wardens. Such as they are. Well, where are the nearest Grey Wardens from here? That's a good question. There's plenty in Orlais, but who knows where they might be found. And the nearest Orlesian city is weeks away. If we go north and cross the sea, there's bound to be some in the Free Marches. Again, however, I just don't know where. I don't know anything about Grey Wardens in other lands. Is there a headquarters somewhere? Here in Ferelden, there's our compound in Denerim at the palace, but that's it. Loghain will have control over that and be watching it, no doubt. Yeah. Beyond that, the only place I know of is Weishaupt Fortress. That's the headquarters of all Grey Wardens in the Anderfels, a thousand miles from here. But I've no idea how to even contact them. Mm. So unless we try to get back to the compound in Denerim, I suppose the answer is no. There's nowhere for us to go. So what happens now that there's just the two of us? I imagine that eventually the Grey Wardens outside of Ferelden will wonder what's happened. Why there's no contact from Duncan or someone. They'll send someone eventually. Though who knows what Loghain's people in Denerim will tell them. Yeah. Maybe they won't send anyone. We could try to contact them. But that would mean leaving Ferelden, and even if we did, they couldn't come back with us in time to stop the blight. So that means whatever happens, it's up to us. So say we do win. Do we need to start rebuilding the Order? I mean, eventually we would have to use the joining to make more Grey Wardens, right? But I don't know how to do the joining. Or what's involved. I know it involves lyrium and some other magic and that it's really difficult to prepare, but that's it. Unless we can find out more about the joining, I guess we better get used to the idea that there might only be two of us for now. Until more come from elsewhere. <laughs> what would happen if we just left? I feel like this is the wrong question to ask. Just left? You mean just left for Elden? I don't know. If there's an archdemon, however, we're supposed to be the only ones who can defeat it. 
and that means the blight would grow unchecked. Eventually, other Grey Wardens in Orlay and other lands would hear about it, and they would come to fight it, but they wouldn't come in time to save Ferelden. There's no way. I'm not going anywhere. I mean, obviously. Okay, no more questions. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? Okay. When I ask you something... Ask away. And... Uh, so how did you become a Grey Warden? Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it, and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? I mean, ha ha, very funny. I do my best. <laughs> what can I say? It wasn't a compliment. Let's see, I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. Yes, you mentioned that before. It's really for the best. I'm not exactly the Chantry type, if you haven't noticed. I don't think I would have made a very good Templar. The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually, and was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Hmm. Um... So you think this is better than being a Templar? Oh, I suppose the Chantry life is good enough for some. Here, we have the chance to fight against the Blight. To actually do some good instead of sitting in a temple somewhere. I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. <laughs> if it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have. He was a good man. He was. A good man who didn't deserve his fate. That much I'm sure of. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. I mean, I feel like he hasn't been a warden that long. He's a junior warden. What do you need? So... Ask away. I don't know. And he's supposed to be a soldier and dealing with grief properly. I, I don't know. I'm not trying to judge Alistair too harshly, but I don't know. There's something just not right with him. Okay, so you said this Arl Eamon raised you. Oh, did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfells. A whole pack of them, in fact. Really? Uh, well, <laughs> um, that does explain the smell. <laughs> well, it wasn't until I was eight that I discovered you didn't have to lick yourself clean. Old no. habits die hard, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, so does a horde of dark. I don't know. I thought. Um, well, that would explain your stinky breath as well. <laughs> and my table manners too. Though, come to think of it, they weren't all that different from the other Templars. Or did I dream all of that? <laughs> Funny the dreams you'll have when you sleep on a cold, hard ground, isn't it? Um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hit you very soon. Now, <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> you would do violence upon me? I am shocked and dismayed. The dogs would never threaten me like this, you know. Let's see, how do I explain this? I'm a bastard. And before you make any smart comments, I mean the fatherless kind. My mother was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle who hmm. died when I was very young. Arl Eamon wasn't my father, but he took me in anyhow and put a roof over my head. He was good to me, and he didn't have to be. I respect the man, and I don't blame him anymore for sending me off to the Chantry once I was old enough. Yeah, but then, why did he send you off to the Chantry? Arl Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlay, which caused all sorts of problems between him and the King because it was so soon after the war. But he loved her. Anyhow, then you, Arlesa, resented the rumours which pegged me as his bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age ten, just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. That's... Yeah, that's a pretty awful thing to do to a child. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence, I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. 
I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. Well, you were young, I guess. And raised by dogs. Apparently. Or I may as well have been, the way I acted. <laughs> yeah, but maybe all young bastards act like that. I don't know. All I know is that the Arl is a good man and well-loved by the people. He also was King Caelan's uncle, so he has a personal motivation to see Loghain pay for what he did. Anyway, that's really all there is to the story. All right, Alistair plus five. So he is at neutral 15, Morgan is at eight neutral. And that brings us to the end uh, for today. Just like I thought, it was a lot of chit-chatting all day. Tomorrow we'll go to the world map and see what happens next. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see all of you then.